Grammar. Hello, doctor. Hello, God bless you, man. God bless you. What is that? Cool, long here, so. Father, we are grateful for all that you are to us. We thank you. We exalt you. We magnify you, this great, great God. Because when I think of the goodness, the goodness of Jesus, and all he has done, he has done for me, yeah. My very soul. Shout, shout, hallelujah, oh, praise God, praise God for saving me, when I think, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, and all he has done for Oh, oh, oh. 
together on this mountain, the mountain of blessing, Lord, we are asking that there shall be a release of overtaking blessings. We are asking, Lord God of heaven, that there shall be a release of outpouring blessings. We pray, Lord God of heaven, for extended blessings of your people and commanded blessings as it was in the days of Moses. We are asking, Lord God of heaven, uh, by the time we'll be leaving this meeting today, Lord, <laughs> the blessings of the Lord, the added blessings, the prevailed blessings that Moses uh, decreed unto the people of old among Jerusalem, will uh, be their portion. Amen. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for the whole of all that we will do today. Amen. And at the end of it all, we will come back. Uh, even next year, to give thanks and praises unto the Holy Name, all your divine visitation at the ninth annual on Jerusalem program. Amen. Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I want to welcome you, brothers and sisters, all over the globe to the ninth annual um, on Jerusalem program. We bless the name of the Lord. The theme for this month's program is Seamless Victory. Seamless Victory. And it's taken from Psalm 44, verse 3. And I pray that as we all face the battle of life, the Lord God of heaven will give us victory without struggling. Without any ammunition, shall be the power of God that we are coming us into the next years in the world. want to thank you for coming, for joining, and we pray that we know this for the next in our life. I want to give glory to God that all of us who participated last year and those who appreciated last year, we thank God that we are all alive. And I pray that everyone that is participating this year and appreciating this year believe in God that of the 10th anniversary of our majority program next year in the name of Jesus. Amen. As I invite the media group for the worship, remain blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The media. Yeah, what? 
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a great pleasure to have all of us on this platform tonight. My name is Bayo Asolo. And I want to welcome us specially. I know we are all from different parts of the world. 
I know we are from Canada, we are from America, we are from Africa, we are from Asian countries, we are from everywhere. I want to say welcome to everybody. It's going to be a great time tonight in God's presence. This meeting has run for nine years, and we believe that it's going to be, today is going to be a day of delivery to all of us in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I welcome all our fathers in the Lord, all our brothers, sisters, mommy, daddy who are joining. And we believe that many, many more people will still be joining this meeting, participating. And we're going to be praying on this mountain. You're welcome to this platform. This is not just an ordinary platform. This is not just a platform. This is a praying mountain. This is a prayer mountain. So we have come to meet with the Lord tonight. We have come to encounter God tonight. I want to welcome us. And I want to say God bless us all in Jesus' name. This year's Mount Gerizim program is going to be special because we believe that God is going to visit us himself in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. It's a great privilege, and I want to thank God for our Father in the Lord and our Mother in the Lord, Reverend Dr. and Reverend Mrs. Oloidi, who had put this program together. God does not give this kind of a program to just anybody. The reason God gave it to them is because God found them faithful. God knows that he can trust them with this program. And it is not just for the show off. It is to bring people together so that we can pray. And I believe that as we pray tonight, God will answer our prayers in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I'm going to be taking a very few, a very short exhortation. And there are a series of people that are going to be praying. When I talk to people sometimes on screen, I like to share my screen. So I'm going to share with you um, what I have to talk about briefly. And then we are going to um, pray. I have been asked by Daddy to share briefly on the captain of our battle the captain of our battle, the captain of our battle. And after that, I'm going to share, I'm going to lead us to pray just two prayer points, just two prayer points. I'd like us to know that prayer is not any man's idea. Prayer was not something that somebody formulated. It was God himself that began prayer. It was God himself that masterminded prayer. In Genesis chapter 20, the Bible says, Now therefore, restore the man's wife. You remember the story of Father Abraham and that king. When the king took the wife of Abraham, the Bible says, God said to that king, God woke him up in the middle of the night and said, Restore the wife of my servant. Restore the wife of my prophet to him. And after that, God said in verse 7, he said, he will pray for you and he shall live. Do you know that if you read the King James Bible, that was the first time it was mentioned that somebody should go and pray. The word prayer itself and the act of praying itself began right from that verse. God was the one that suggested prayer. God was the one that recommended prayer and said to that king, he said, king, if you don't want to die before, the, before tomorrow, Go to my prophet and he will pray for you. If we do not want to faint, we have to pray. In Luke chapter 18, verse 1, Jesus said, the Bible says, Jesus said a parable unto them that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. So if we don't want to faint, we have to pray. My father was an Orthodox man before he died. He had a Bible. Inside that Bible, you wrote inside, more prayers means more power. Less prayer means less power. No prayer means no power. So when we pray, we generate more power. I believe that on this Mount Garrison tonight, we are going to generate more power tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And only more power leads to more victory. The more power we can generate, the more victory we are going to generate. So we are all going to be praying tonight. And I'd like us to know that when it is time to pray, Everybody is going to be praying. There are people that are listed to pray, to lead us in praying. I'm going to take just two prayer points. But when we begin to pray, 
Do not delegate your prayer to somebody else to do for you. Do not imagine, do not think, do not assume that Bayo Asola is praying for you in England. Do not assume that Dabiolo is praying for, praying for you in, in Georgia. Do not assume that somebody else is praying for you. Baba, Baba Kedele is praying for you in, in, uh, in Nigeria. No, you have to take prayer and take it as a personal responsibility. Do you know that even when Jesus Christ delegated prayer to his disciples, when he took three of them to the mountain of, 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 of to, to the mountain to pray, and he said to them, be praying for me, I want to go further. Do you know that before Jesus came back, those three disciples, his closest friend, his closest ally, his closest partners, Peter, James, and John, they are slept off. The lesson Jesus was trying to teach us from there is that prayer is not delegable. Prayer is not something you delegate to somebody. Prayer is not something you give to your pastor to do for you. There are people that give prayer to their, um, some people just write prayer points and send to people to pray. It's not wrong to do that. Tonight, if you have a prayer point you want us to pray about, I want to advise that you just send it on the platform. Send it to, if it is very confidential, you can post it to daddy directly or to me or to mommy. We are going to look into that. But if it is something that is not confidential, you can put it in the general chat and people are going to pray about it. But get to know that prayer works. Prayer works and prayer is the only thing that can change things. I'd like to also say to you that prayer is a battle. So we're on a mountain of battle tonight. Prayer is a warfare. We're on a mountain of warfare tonight. All of us tonight, we are on a battlefield. I can see we have about 40 people on this, 40, 40 devices connected. I'm not even talking of people on Facebook or people on YouTube or people somewhere else. And there are families that you can have three or four people sitting down together in the same sitting room there. I'd like you to know that we are on the battlefield and prayer is battle. So we are now on the battlefield. Forget the fact that I'm wearing suit. Forget the fact that you are wearing hat. We are all on the battlefield. How do I know that prayer is battle? Because in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, the Bible says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So it's a wrestling. We wrestle not, we wrestle not against flesh and blood. In 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to verse 4, which I know that you know very well, the Bible says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. So prayer is war. The Bible says, for the weapons of our warfare are not canon. So wherever you use weapon, you only use weapon in work situation. You don't, you don't use weapon when you want to eat the dinner, when you want to eat your dinner, when you want to take your breakfast, you don't use weapon. So because the Bible says there's going to be weapon to be used, that means we are in a warfare tonight. And I pray that God is going to help us tonight to fight, to pray through and to fight through in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. As I said, I'm going to lead us in just two prayer points. But before I take those prayer points, I want to emphasize and re-emphasize to us that we have not gathered unto ourselves. We have not come together here sitting down unto ourselves. We are not just holding a family meeting. We are not holding um, um, a, a, just a social gathering. No, 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 no. This is a very special meeting tonight. Mount Gerizim is a mountain that God himself recommended for blessing to the people of Israel in the book of Deuteronomy. So it's not just any mountain. It was a mountain where God said, come together, I want to bless you. Mount Gerizim is a mountain of blessing. So we are here together tonight to pray. And we are here together to be blessed tonight. And I pray that God is going to bless all of us tonight in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. As I said, we have not gathered unto ourselves. And we have a captain over this battle. When I say we are in a warfare, when I say we are in a battle, we have a captain over that battle. We are not just in a battle that we have no leader. We are not just in a battle that we have nobody that we can rest upon. We have a battle and we have a field marshal over this battle. And that captain is God Almighty himself. God is the battle leader. God is the captain. God is the general. God is the field marshal of this battle tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. And we know that it's going to be victory for us in Jesus' name. And that's because when God leads a battle, he never loses a battle. He never has never lost one. When he leads a battle, nobody can lose. Every request that we have brought to this platform, to this mountain tonight, shall be, shall be answered by God Almighty in the name of Jesus. The Bible says this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, the Bible uses the word anything, anything, whatsoever we ask according to his will, he heareth us. And this is how we know that he hears us because we get petition, we get results to our petition, we get answers to our petition. 
So be rest assured tonight that we have somebody that is leading us, the God Almighty, who has never lost any battle. And when he leads us, we are not also losing. We cannot fail in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. God delivered manual for warfare to Moses and the people of Israel. God delivered manual for warfare. When you buy a new television, you need a manual. When you buy a new car, you need a manual. When you want to operate a device, you need a manual. Prayer is a device. Prayer is a system. And there's a device for that system. And that device, when God gave, when God was talking to the people of Israel in Deuteronomy chapter 20, he gave them the manual for warfare. Remember I said we are in warfare tonight. And the Bible calls it, if you are reading King James, the Bible calls it, it titles it, Law Concerning Warfare. So whenever you want to go to warfare, there's a, war, there's a law that guides warfare. And I'm going to show you the law for this warfare tonight. In the Trinomy chapter 20, verse 1, it says, when you go to battle against your enemy, we are here in battle against our enemies tonight. And none of these enemies shall survive. None of them shall escape in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. He said, when you go to battle against your enemy and see it, horses, you see horses, you see chariots, you see fire from left and right, and a, a, a people more than you, I like to tell you that of a truth, there are times that you face battle in life and that battle is more than you. There are people here tonight that are facing battle. And you know in the honesty of your heart that that battle is more than you. But the Bible says the first law, Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 1, in the whole of chapter 20, the Bible talks about the manual for fighting war. He, he gave them the, the law for fighting war. The first thing is be not afraid. Beloved, tonight, be not afraid. All the 41 devices connected to the connected here and those who are watching on Facebook and on YouTube tonight, I'd like to say to you, be not afraid. That is the first law of warfare. Why? Why should I not be afraid when there are people more than me? Why should I not be afraid when I see horses? Why should I not be afraid when I see chariots? He said, I should not be afraid. He said, for the Lord your God is with you. Because God, God, God himself is the captain of our battle. That is why we are not afraid. He was the one that brought us out of the land of Egypt. In other words, look at the battles that God has won for us in the past. Because of that confidence, we know that God is going to see us through. The Bible says in verse 4, which is my main text for this short message. For the Lord your God is he that goeth for you. He is the one that go before you. He is the one that fights on your behalf. To fight for you, to fight against your enemy. God does not just go. I'd like you to look at that verse very well. God does not just go to kill our, to fight our enemy and then and, and kill our enemy. No. If there is no benefit when your enemy is killed and you are not saved. That's why the Bible says he will fight your enemy and then he will save you. David was writing in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 34. He said, I was looking, I was taking care of my father's sheep. He said, a bear and a lion appeared to me. And the lion took my, my sheep. He said, I ran after the lion. I slew the lion. The Bible did not stop there. If the Bible stopped there, that would have been a loss for David. He said, I slew the lion and I saved the sheep. So until the sheep is saved, there is no victory. Killing your enemy does not make you a victor. But when you are killed, when, when your enemy is killed and you are saved, that is what makes you a victor. And that is why God is a strategist. He's a battle strategist. That's why he's a warfare strategist. He said, I will kill, I will fight against your enemy, I will now save you. Hallelujah. In Psalm 108, verse 13, the Bible says, Though God, he said, through God, we shall do valiantly. Every one of us on this mountain tonight, we shall do valiantly in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, For Amen. it is he that shall tread, that shall tread down our enemies. I am led today to lead us to pray. I was going to the bathroom this morning. I, I was aware of this program about two weeks ago. And I was thinking, I was meditating about God, what exactly do you want us to, to pray about? And I was going to the bathroom this morning. That was about 10 o'clock this morning. And the Lord said to me, pray against failure. So specifically, we are following God's instruction tonight. I am going to pray against failure. We are going to be praying against failure tonight. And God did not ask me to pray against all failures. God was very specific when he was talking to me in my bathroom this morning. God was very, very accurate. He was very deliberate, very clear and unambiguous when he was talking to me about, about what we are going to pray for, what I am going to lead in praying for tonight. 
those two prayer points that we are going to pray for. Because there are many kinds of failure. There are many, many kinds of failure. There is exam failure that you all know about. We've all written exams before. Some of us have failed exam before. Career failure. There's career failure. There are people that write that, 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 that write driving tests and fail their driving test. When I came to England, the first church I went to, there was a woman there who was giving testimony because she had written, she had done driving tests nine times. I never knew that driving tests calls for a testimony in England. Until then, the sister was rolling on the floor and passed my driving test. So there is driving test failure. There was there is something you call power failure. Those of us who live in Africa, we know what is power failure. There can be marriage failure also. There can be ministry failure. There can be idea failure. You can put all ideas together and then the idea fails. There's project failure. There's business failure. There's economy failure. And for goodness sake, there can be money failure. If you don't know about it, you can read Genesis chapter 47, verse 15. Let me tell you what the Bible says there. The Bible says, and when money fails, money can fail. When money failed in the land of Egypt, not only Egypt, money also failed in Canaan. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Money failed in Egypt, money failed in Canaan, money failed everywhere. And the Bible says, for why should we die in the, in the present for money failed? Twice in the book of Genesis 14, 15, 14, 15, the Bible says money failed. So money can fail. But God did not ask me to pay, pray about money failure. God did not ask me to pray about business failure. God did not ask me to lead you tonight to pray about career failure or examination failure. God spoke to my ear specifically, and he asked us to pray about two kinds of failure. We are going to start to pray for the first one. The first one is organ failure. We are going to pray, and now it's time for us to pray. We are going to start to pray. When we pray, I want us to take any posture that is convenient depending on where you are. Remember that prayer is warfare. Prayer is wrestling. Prayer is not jelenke. Prayer is not child's play. Prayer is not playing. When you are not praying, you are playing. The first prayer tonight out of the two that God has spoken to me specifically to lead us about is organ failure. And you are going to pray wherever you are. My organ will not fail in the name of Jesus. Shall we begin to pray everybody? In the name of Jesus, my organ will not fail. Open your mouth and begin to pray. We are praying. Our first prayer point tonight is organ failure. Remember, God spoke to me 10 a.m. this morning. He said we should pray about failure. He didn't ask us to pray about academic failure. He didn't ask us to pray about business failure. He specifically said organ failure. In the name of Jesus, my organ will not fail. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I want us to pray, mommy, daddy, pastors, brothers, sisters. I want us to pray. My organ will not fail. Mention those organs that you see that I've written on the screen. My kidney will not fail in the name of Jesus. My liver will not fail in the name of Jesus. My lungs will not fail. My heart will not fail. My bones will not fail. My muscles will not fail. We are on the mountain tonight to pray. We are where God is tonight. We are not here for nothing. God does not bring the people of the six children of Jacob together for nothing. God has brought us together here tonight to, 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 to address our concerns, to address our issues. And God said to me, pray that pray against organ failure. My organ will not fail in the name of Jesus. Mention those organs in your body. My kidney will not fail. My eyes will not fail. My ears will not fail. My voice box will not fail. My brain will not fail. In the name of Jesus, my stomach will not fail. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the prayer point is on the screen. I'd like you to pray that prayer. I just say it in the name of Jesus, my organs will not fail. My organs will not fail. That is the first thing God wants to address. You are on the surgical mountain. God wants to perform some surgery tonight in the name of Jesus. That is what God said to me 10 a.m. this morning on my way to in the, in, on, the, on the way to my bathroom. God said to me, You are going to pray about organ failure. This was not what I prepared two weeks ago for this meeting. God spoke to me this morning, pray against organ failure. Everybody that is present on the platform tonight, I want us to begin to pray. 
in the name of Jesus, whether you are connected to us on Zoom or you are connected to us in, on, on, on Facebook or you are watching us from any other device, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Your organs will not fail. Your liver will not fail. Your kidney will not fail. Your lungs will not fail. Your heart will not fail. Your bones will not fail. In the name of Jesus, any part of your body, any organ of your body that requires a repair, God will repair tonight. God will replace tonight. God will repair tonight. God will replace tonight. In the name of Lord Jesus, God will do whatever it needs to be in your body tonight. That is what God said to us. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. Mm. We're still taking that prayer point. In Deuteronomy 34, verse 7, the Bible says, And Moses was 120 years old and when he died. His eyes were not dim, nor his natural force abated. That's the word of God. I didn't write it. God looked after Moses. In another meeting that we just finished just now, or we came from, we were looking at how God took care of everybody. God can take care of all of us on this platform. God can take care of your family. This prayer Amen. point we are praying tonight, you should extend to your brother, to your sister, to your husband, to your wife, to your father, to your mother, that their organs will not fail. The Bible says Amen. his eyes was not abated. Do you Amen. know what? Just last week, two of my friends, one of them, just woke up last week and could not see with the right eye again. Their eye just went blind. Another one had kidney or liver failure. These two, this, not long ago, but we are on the mountain of victory tonight. The Bible says, upon yeah. Monsanto shall be deliverance and holiness. Or by that one seventeen, yeah. the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. We are here to possess yeah. our possession tonight. I like you to yeah. begin to. My organ will not fail. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Wherever Father, you are, pray tonight. in the that name of, the Jesus, name of my Jesus, my organs will not fail. My organs will not fail me. Our organs will not fail. Our organs will not fail. In the name of Jesus, oh, my circulatory systems, none of which I fail me. My heart shall not fail me. My lungs will not fail me. My kidney, my kidney, no, will not fail me. I pray for all my children. Lord, that their kidneys will not fail them. Their livers will not fail them. Their livers, Lord God of heaven, will not fail them. I pray for my brothers, my sisters, my children, my cousins, my grandchildren, every one of these lives. That in the name of Jesus, our organs will not fail us. Amen. I'd like you to know that in Psalm 91, verse 16, the Bible says, with long life will he satisfy us. Not will he shameify us. Not will he disgrace us. Not will he torture us. When you live long, you are not meant to be living long and being tortured in disgrace, in embarrassment, mm. in, in, in ill health. That's not what the Bible says. I pray for everybody that is connected to us on this platform. You are alive this year. You will be alive next year in the mighty name of Jesus. This is our Amen. edition. When we are doing our 10th edition next year, we shall all be here in good health. No organ Amen. will fail. No liver will Amen. fail. No spleen will Amen. fail. No abdomen Amen. will fail. No bone Amen. will fail. No joint will fail. No nerve Amen. will fail. No brain will fail. No eye will fail. Amen. No nose will Amen. fail. In the mighty Amen. name of Jesus, your ears will not fail. In Jesus' Amen. precious name. Amen. The second and the last prayer point God gave me this morning was faith failure. Hmm. We are going to pray. My faith will not fail. And I will tell you why. Amen. In the book of Luke chapter 22, verse 31, the Bible says Jesus had an encounter with Simon. When the devil was going to destroy Simon, Simon Peter, Jesus said, Simon, 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 Simon. When God calls you two times, it's very important. You will remember that this man, earlier, Jesus has said, your name will not be Simon, but Peter. He was calling him by his pet name, nickname, Peter. But when there was a serious matter, Jesus went back to the real name, Simon. He called him twice. When our mother wants to say something important to us, they would call us tw twice. If your name is Elizabeth, they will, she will say Elizabeth, Elizabeth. That means there's a matter. The devil wanted to destroy uh, the, uh, Peter here. He said, Satan has desired. I read some other versions here. He said, he has requested. He had requested. To, he, he, Satan had written a, a formal letter to God to say, let me have this man, to have him, and to sift him as a wheat. He said, but you know what? The answer to that, what, God, what Jesus did to counter that, Jesus said, but I have prayed for you. And what was the prayer point? He said that your faith will not. So it's an important point that our faith will not fail. And that's our prayer tonight. I want all of us to begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, my faith will not fail. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Very short prayer, one or two minutes, we are going to finish this session. 
my faith will not fail in the name of Father, Jesus. I God pray specifically that in the told name me of Jesus, to go and let my us pray faith will not fail me. me. And he said, God, my pray faith you will increase about on the organ failure day. and faith failure. In the name so of faith Jesus. Not fail in the name of Jesus. Just, just like I pray fail. concerning in the name all of my Jesus, organs. My faith will not fail in the name of Jesus. So also I pray that my faith will not fail me. So that I can continue, Lord, to carry out my spiritual assignment. Precious oh, name, we pray. Hold me. Thank you for in your Jesus' name, we blessing. pray. Why is Amen. that point important? It's important because when a man's faith failed, his whole life has failed. That mm. was why when Jesus was going to pay for Peter, he said that your faith should not fail. That was why he prayed that prayer for him. And that was why mm. the disciples pray and said, Lord, increase our faith. Because when your faith goes, you are gone. When your faith goes, you are gone. Faith is paramount to our survival. Do you know that in the whole of the Bible, there is a phrase or a sentence that was written verbatim four times. That never happened any other place. There was no other place where you see that happen four times. And that was in Habakkuk 2, 4, Romans 1, 17, then the Galatians 3, 11, and Hebrews 10, 38. The Bible says, the just shall live by faith. In other words, when faith is taken out of your life, you can no more be living. Spiritually, you are dead. Physically, you are dead. So we are going to pray tonight. My faith will not fail. And every opposition, remember this is the last prayer point. Every opposing force against my faith, I pull them down tonight in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. All of us, let's begin mm -hmm. to pray. Just one or two minutes to pray this prayer and then we'll finish this session. In the name of Jesus, my faith will not fail. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, because I when a man's faith fails, my faith shall faith. not fail me. When my your faith, faith fails, everything me. about you will collapse. Of in the name my of spiritual my stamina, faith will not Lord, fail. we continue to increase. My faith will not fail. In the name of Jesus, in the name my faith will not fail. Oh, my faith, my Lord, faith will not fail. My faith will not fail. In the name of you, increase My faith will not fail. My faith will be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. We give you praise and glory. Jesus, name we pray. Amen. Heavenly In Father, Jesus we thank you. We, we thank you because we have obeyed your word. You've asked us to pray that our faith will not fail and our organs will not fail. This is our confident, confidence tonight that you have heard our prayers and you have access to all we have requested and nobody's organ will fail here and our faith too will not fail. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Dr. Bayo Asolo. I want to thank God for that exhortation on the God of our battle. He's the one that is leading our battle. And that we have prayed on our organs. None of our organs shall fail in Jesus' name. And yeah. more importantly, our faith will not fail us. We want to take a hymn. Uh, to confirm what our pastor Asano has just given us, that uh, we have uh, a God, a Savior, who is strong, mighty in the conflict of uh, the right against every wrong. And uh, I will call on uh, Reverend Modupe Oloidi to lead us as we take that song. They who know the Savior shall aim be strong. Shall we take the hymn? They who know the Savior shall in him be strong. They who know the Savior shall in be strong. My this the blessed promise given in God's word, doing wondrous exploit, they will know the Lord. Victory. Victory, 
Blessed blood but victory, 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 victory all the time. As Jehovah liveth, strength divine giveth. Unto those who know him, be great all the time. In the midst of battle, be thou not dismayed. Though the pass of darkness gains the hour God, thy strength is with thee, causing the to stand. Heaven, a light army, Wakes at thy Victory, victory, blessed blood, but victory, 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 victory. victory. All the time, as Jehovah lives, can deny again unto those who know the secret of the time. Pray to be a life testing, stronger fortune. Walking like I feel is the fallen gate. Doing wondrous exploits. With the spirit, winning so for Jesus, praise of victory, victory, blessed not Victory, victory, victory all the time. I tell by strength by Unto those who know ye, be great all the time. Amen. Amen. Continue to enjoy serious victory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I pray that each and every one of us, we experience victory at all times in every area and nothing shall by enemies rob you of that seamless victory in jesus name amen we are not on our way so over the time zones there are some people joining all the way from indonesia some from australia so we want to make sure that we keep to our two hours on this program we want to thank God for the first uh, exhortation that we received, we had from Dr. Bayo Asolo 
of England on the God of our battle. The, second, the first prayer facilitator this morning or this afternoon or this evening, wherever you are, <coughs> is uh, uh, their brother, Reverend Femi Okuniyi, who will be taking the topic, uh, the prayer point uh, on, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Femi Okuniyi. Thank you very much, Daddy, uh, for this opportunity uh, to be part of the people that we minister at the ninth edition of our Mount Gerizim uh, prayer conference. It is indeed uh, a privilege for me, and I want to thank you uh, for this privilege. May the name of the Lord be praised forever in Jesus' name. I also thank our mommy uh, for all the support. Praise the name of the Lord. Now we're going to begin our prayer. And um, uh, the prayer focus is from the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 13. And the word of God says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Paul, the writer of this book of Philippians, had endured so much in the ministry. He has endured so much, he was being persecuted, he had shipwrecks, he was betrayed, but in it all, he learned the secret of contentment and how to trust God. Therefore, I'd like us to trust God even as we pray and to be obedient to the word of God. And God, who saw Paul true, will see us true, even as we pray now in the name of Jesus. Therefore, we all need the power, the strength of God, even in the, our journey of life. He told the Christians in Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, he said, finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 10, the word of God says, if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. Therefore, we need strength from the Lord. He, like the speaker, told us that God is the one leading us in our battle. Therefore, I'd like us to trust God and to begin to pray unto him. And I pray in the name of the Lord. He will strengthen us now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Shall we sing this song? Lift up Jesus. He is King of Kings. Lift up Jesus. He is Lord of Lords. Lift up Jesus. He is King of Kings. King of kings and Lord of lords, sing it one more time. Lift up Jesus, he is King of kings. Lift up Jesus, he is Lord of lords. Lift up Jesus, he is King of kings. King of kings and Lord of Shall we begin to lift up the name of Jesus? Let's begin to thank him oh, for this gathering on this mountain. Let's appreciate God for who he is. Oh, let's thank him for his mercies upon us, for protecting every one of us since last year, even up to now. Let's appreciate him. Let's give him praise. Let's worship his holy name. Our God is good. And the Bible says his mercies endure forever. God is good. Father, we thank you. We appreciate you. Glory be to your name. Glory be to your name, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. We have come unto the Lord. We have come unto the Lord. We have come unto the Father, we have come 
to receive them. We have come unto the Lord. We have come unto the Lord. We have come unto the Father. We have come to renew strength. Let's pray unto the Lord and say, Lord, even as we are coming to you at this hour, please renew our strength. Oh, strengthen Father, us we come from our you. inner minds. Strengthen us. That, uh, oh, Lord, we, we, we need power all from all you. Lord, strengthen you. us. Strengthen Lord us. Jesus, empower us. Our empower strength, right now. Lord, depends on you. Empower we do not have any of us. strength of oh, our God. own. Even I on this prayer line, God, in the name strength. of Jesus, we are entrusting oh, our lives unto you. We need power. That God, everyone that is by weak, your strength, everyone that is weary, Lord, we pray. Oh, we can do Lord, all things that you will strengthen us Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. You, you will as we seek you from time to time, Lord, empower Lord, us you will, in you the will name of Jesus Christ. So Lord, Thank you, Almighty Father. Of life, we can face the name of the Lord. By our own power, but in with you, Jesus' mighty us. name, Thank we you, have Father. prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I'd like us to pray against every obstruction to our seamless victory. Let's pray that every obstruction to our seamless victory shall be uprooted and destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. What are these obstructions? I'd like us to pray against fear, that the Lord will take away every form of fear that can obstruct obstruct our seamless victory, every pride, every envy, every spirit of doubt, every anxiety, oh, every form of obstruction to our seamless victory. Let's begin to pray right now that the Lord will take them Father, away. The Lord will destroy them in you. our life. That in Lord, the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Father, we pray right now against every obstruction. Lord, oh, we are Lord, to our you. seamless victory, Everybody, we are praying, Lord, that you will uproot them in the Lord, name of Jesus prayer, Christ. Prayer. Lord, we you will destroy them. Not only you will you uproot them, us, but Father, Anything we are praying, that oh, that you will destroy them in the name of Jesus victory. Christ. Lord, we pray that you will be moving. We ask that Lord, we pray that all believers take them from our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. Bless be the Father. name of the Lord. Bless be the name of Jesus the Lord. Jesus' mighty name. Praise we and glory. Do pray. Amen. Amen. Psalm number 68, verse 1 says, Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. We are going to pray that the Lord will arise on our behalf and he will scatter every power of darkness that may want to obstruct us even on our way of victory. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'd like you to sing with me and see. Oh, Arise, Father, thank you. Lord, we pray, we pray, we and pray. My enemies is Arise, O Lord. And my enemies be scattered. Arise, O Lord. And my enemies be scattered. O Lord, O Lord, arise. I'd like us to turn that to prayer and begin to. Pray that every obstruction, oh, and every enemy against our seamless victory, the Lord will scatter them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every enemy, oh, the enemies of our soul, every enemy, oh, God of our body, of our spirit. Father, we pray at this hour that, Lord, you will scatter them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord, scatter we them, scatter them, movie. scatter them. Thank you for In the name Lord. of Jesus. Bless the Jesus the name Lord. we have prayed. Give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. I like us to pray in the name of Jesus Christ because we are talking about that not by power, not by might, but by my spirit. And in the scripture that we are giving, we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. So I want us to pray in the name of Jesus, that the name of Jesus, oh, we fight every battle of our life for us. Because the Bible says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, it said, every knee must bow and all tongues must confess that Jesus is the Lord. Therefore, every challenges of our life, every enemies of our life, every battle that we are, we are, we are, we are, we are battling with, that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, they will all bow now 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Every enemy, or oh, every challenges confronting your life, every battle confronting your life, they will all bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Lift up your voices and begin to pray. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, the Bible says, oh, that I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And the Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 2, verse 10 and 11, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those underneath the earth. Every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to the glory of God the Father. Therefore, we pray the name of Jesus that, oh, every challenges of our life, every trouble of our life, today they will bow in the name of Jesus Christ. Every limitation, oh, to our success, the Lord will bring them, oh, under our feet in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I'd like us also to pray with the blood of Jesus. Let's begin to pray. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus set me free from sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set me free. Let's begin to pray that by the power that is in the blood of Jesus, we are set free from all powers of darkness today, from all powers of the enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's begin to lift up our voices and begin to pray. Our dear Father and our God, that is power in your blood. Therefore, I pray that the power in the blood of Jesus will grant unto us, oh, seamless victory today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, we are released from all forms of bondage, from all forms of, on, of locked blessings. We are set free. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so our dear Father and our God, we thank you. We bless and honor your name. We appreciate you. Oh, because we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Therefore, we ask for strength from above right now for everyone, oh God, on this conference line, that you will release power even upon us okay. afresh in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Pray, Lord, that you will strengthen us in our inner mind. Lord, Amen. I pray that from today we begin to enjoy seamless victory in the Amen. name of Jesus Christ. Amen. No one will be able to stand against us, for God is ahead of us and the head of our battle. We are victorious. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, uh, dear servant of God, Reverend Jonathan Olufemi Okuni. I want to thank God that uh, we have been reminded that on our own, we cannot do anything. But we, we can do all things through Christ who, who strengthens us and is the one that is leading the battle. And uh, he is the one that will give us the seamless victory in Jesus' name. Amen. We move to the second prayer facilitator. And uh, he is uh, their sister, the servant of God, uh, all the way from the US here, Reverend Margaret Casey, who will be leading us on uh, the old paths, the old paths, walking in the path of righteousness. If we want to have victory, knowing fully where that God is the captain of our battle, we need to walk in the old paths. And it's my pleasure to invite Reverend Margaret Acey all the way from Virginia. God bless you, ma'am. Mommy, you Hallelujah. Have okay. Oh, thank you, sir, for giving me the opportunity to, to be part of this program. I appreciate it. And thank you, Grandma. Um, our topic, like Daddy has mentioned, is the old parts. The old parts. And um, we are going to take a song as we start. I know it's a song that most of us know. 
ancient words. I do not know it very well, but I think I will rush through it. Holy words, long preserved for our work in this world. They resound with God's own heart. Oh, let the ancient words impart words of life, words of hope. Give us strength, help us cope in this world where we roam. Ancient words will guide us home. Ancient words ever true. They and changing you. We have come with open heart. Oh, let the ancient words impart holy words of our faith handed down to this age. Came to us through sacrifice. The beautiful words of Christ, holy words. Long preserved for our world. In this world, they resound with God's own heart. Oh, let them send words in past. Ancient words never trust. Changing me and changing you. We have yeah. come with open heart. Let the ancient words in heart. Yes, the ancient words they lay out the old paths we should thread. And our text that is given us is Jeremiah 6, verse 16. The old paths. Jeremiah 6, 16 says, Thus says the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But he said, we will not walk therein. God's people has strayed from the way of righteousness into adultery and wickedness. And he called them back to the former parts of the covenant and the law of Moses. The Lord, through prophet Jeremiah, instructed the people of Jerusalem about the path they ought to follow. The church also must always examine itself to see if it has strayed from the old paths proclaimed in the New Testament for us. And what are the old paths? We are going to go to Isaiah 38 as I read verse 8. And a highway shall be there, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be for those the way faring men, though fools shall not err uh, therein. We are also going to take Psalm 15, verse 1 to 2. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly and walketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in the heart. The old paths are the way of righteousness, holiness, truth, and obedience that God has revealed in his word. It is a lifestyle that pleases God and a life that demonstrates faith in God. We are going to start to pray now. Let's begin to thank God for giving us the roadmap to guide us on our journey to heaven. You see, our seamless victory on our journey to heaven has been made easy for us. The Lord has outlined his word for us. Let's begin to thank him 
for having, he didn't leave us in the dark. He gave us his word that will guide us. Let's begin to thank him. Father, we thank you. We thank you, O oh God, for the roadmap you have given us. Yes, that will lead us to a seamless victory. Thank because you, you are Lord. with us, you will help us the way, to the throw the path, the path of, of righteousness, that the path of us, holiness, that we will not be the, the, the HIV, blessed Lord. Holiness. In Jesus' Father. name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 64, verse 6 says, But we are all as an unclean thing, and all mm. our righteousness as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. You see, these ancient words explain how lost we were without a savior. Yes. We are going to pray now. Let's begin to thank God for making a way, a way for us through his son, Jesus Christ, who came to thank save you. us. Through thank you, Lord. Death and for the way for the redemption. Yes, he reconnected us back to God. The redemptive now we can call him cross our Father. Abadi. Let's thank him. Thank Father, you. we thank, thank you. Father. Yes, Lord. We thank you for making the way through him. your son. We thank you for the Jesus way. Christ. For the way, yes, the way of yes, righteousness. We, for us. we thank you. We thank we you, call you for the victory over thank sin. You, bless victory the Lord. Over, over you self. Thank for you, being Father. so good to us. Bless be, Lord. Lord. be to your holy name. Pray, In, Jesus name In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. John 1, verse 12 says, But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Yes. Many have come to God through Christ. Let's thank God for many who have received Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord of their lives. And now they are part of God's family. Let's thank him. Yes, we thank you, O oh God. We thank you, for having we thank you Lord. We thank you. Father, thank you, Lord, the Lord for this Christ. narrow way. Thank you, as and many as have received you as their Lord and Savior, Lord, you will God's strengthen them to continue Jesus. in this narrow way. Mighty name. Amen. We do pray. Amen. Amen. Now, we're going to go to the book of Matthew, chapter 9. Matthew 9, as I read, verse 37 and 38. Then said he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers mm. are few. Pray ye mm. therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. Yes, the harvest is plenteous. There are many out there who are still lost and need to come into the kingdom. Let's begin to pray. Pray that the Lord of the harvest will send laborers Lord, to encounter we'll lost souls all, and all, bring them all, in all, to the harvest that, in the name of Jesus. It, oh, yes, Lord. We ask, oh God, that you bring forth laborers according to your word that you religion. bring in the soul. And Lord God, oh, yes, you will Lord. talk there. You souls, will reveal God. yourself of that them. Yet lost. In the name oh, of yes, Jesus, Lord. that they will have an encounter with you. In so the thank, name thank you, Father. Bless thank you, our blessed Lord. Lord. In Amen. Jesus' Amen. mighty name, we do pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, we're also going to pray that um, we will be part of those who will bring in the souls. We are praying for ourselves individually now, all that are on the platform. Yes, pray that you and I will be part of bringing in the harvest of souls in the name oh, of Jesus. Yes, make, make us part make of it. Faithful, yes, the, the workforce. Faithful. Make us part that of the Lord workforce God of heaven to bring in the go souls out in the mighty into name the of the Jesus. Thank you, our blessed Lord. And honor to bring Jesus souls to the name, kingdom. Lord, we do pray. Thank you. Amen. 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 The statement in our text says, ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Yes, we will not walk therein. What does Matthew eleven twenty nine 29 say? Matthew eleven twenty nine 29 says, take my yoke upon you and learn oh. of me. For I am mm. meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. This mm. is the rest 
that Christ is offering his church. Yes, let's pray. Pray that the church will accept accept the rest that Christ is offering. So do oh, we yes, so yeah. yes. Pray that the lost. church will Amen. accept the rest that Christ Amen. has offered us. Yes, and we find rest for our souls. We must accept Amen. the rest that Christ is offering. We take his yoke upon us. Yes, let us in and do his will. In the name of Thank Jesus, Lord, oh yes, Lord, we do your thank will. you, our blessed Lord. You will help us to take it upon ourselves to do your will. Thank you, blessed Lord. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, indeed, many have received him as Lord and Savior, but how many are living the life as prescribed by the one who has saved them? The old paths are ways of righteousness, like I mentioned before. Holiness, yes. Many are in the church, but they are saying we will not walk therein. That's their statement. Because when you are living a life that does not please God, you are saying, I will not walk therein. Let's begin to pray. Pray that everyone in the church will be sincere with God and not hide mm -hmm. under any deception of sin. In the name of Jesus, let's pray that oh, everyone in the church, that Lord, yes, oh, the hearts of men, God, the hearts of sincere. men, your word yes, will be, so that will they can have find place in the hearts of men. In the Christ name of Jesus, those in the yes, church, those outside the church, God, your word will have a place in their hearts. And not in the name under of Jesus, and every false thing. Asking in the hands of human beings, Lord, they are that the stronghold of habits. A, 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 you know a, 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 a that means them dead. In the name of Jesus, we help them. Help your children go. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Second Corinthians thirteen five says, "Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know you not?" your own selves, how that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobates. That's it. Pray for yourself, as I pray for myself now, that we will examine ourselves often to ensure we do not fall into the trap of the enemy of our soul. In the name of Jesus, we will flee at the sight of sin as Joseph did. Yes, Joseph fled for his dear life. He ran for his dear life. As we see sin, we will flee. Yes, because if you fall on that sin, uh, uh, you're already a defeated, uh, a defeated foe. Yes, pray that you will flee at the sight of sin. And I will flee at the sight of sin. Yes, Lord. Help us, O God. Enable us. We flee at the sight of sin in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our blessed Lord. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Amen. James 4, 7b says, Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Let's pray for wisdom, courage, and grace to resist the tempter at all times in the name of Jesus. Pray for grace, wisdom, to, and courage to resist. Yes, resist. That's the word. Resist the, the, the enemy. Thank you, our blessed Lord. You will help us to resist the enemy in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I had mentioned earlier on that the old part is a lifestyle that pleases God and a life that demonstrates faith in God. We are going to go to Genesis chapter 22, Genesis 22, as I read verse 17 to 18. That in blessing, I will bless thee, and in multiplying, I will multiply thee, thy seed as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is in the, in the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed. Yes, because thou hast obeyed. You see, the, we obeyed the voice of God. We obeyed the voice of God. We are very familiar with the events that led to this, this covenant blessing. With the hesita without hesitation, he went ahead to carry out the instruction of God to sacrifice his son Isaac. Abraham had solid faith in God and walked in the way of righteousness. Yes. 
thank God we already prayed. You know, we, uh, uh, Dr. Asolo already led us to pray a prayer of faith. We are still going to do a little here, you know, because I've already outlined it here for us to do. Because the scripture says, but without faith, in Hebrews 6, 5, in Hebrews 11, 6, rather, without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Yes, and in an apostle Paul in 1 Timothy 6, 11 to 12 says, follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness, Fight the good fight of faith. Yes, faith stands in God's power. Yes, faith stands in God's power. Faith demands that God be our only source. A writer said, faith is robed in God's majesty. We're going to pray. Pray that your faith in God will be solid and unshaken. Pray that your faith will stand in God's power. Yes, Father, this is our prayer, oh God. Help us, O oh God, help me that my faith will be solid and that my faith will stand in your power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our blessed Lord. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Is my time up? I think my time is running out. I'm being <clears throat> told to <clears throat> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's, let's take the, the last prayer point and, uh, <clears throat> and I, I'll close. First Peter 2.21 For even here unto we are ye called because Christ also suffered for us leaving us an example that we should follow his steps. The highest glory and privilege of any believer is to suffer for Christ. Let's pray. Pray that the church will be committed to live according to the pattern set forth in the New Testament. Yes, may the church not deviate from the old paths in the name of Jesus. The church will not deviate from the old paths. You and I will not deviate from the old paths in the name of Jesus. We are going to take uh, this song as we close. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. 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 Yeah. 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 It was good for Paul and Silas. It was good for Paul and Silas. It is good for Paul and Silas. It's good for Paul and Silas. It's good enough for me. Let's begin to thank God. Let's thank God that he has answered our prayers. Father, we thank you because you have heard us. You help us, oh Lord, to live and stay on the path, the old path that you have prescribed for us. Yes, Lord, give us the grace not to deviate from the old path. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want to thank God for that powerful session by our dear sister. Reverend Margaret Essie on walking in the path of righteousness, the old path. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. God for the various speakers. We have heard about the God of our battle. We have heard about the fact that we can do all things only through Christ who strengthens us. And we can experience a seamless victory when we walk in the path of righteousness. Hallelujah. We want to thank God. Like I said, because some of our brethren in Indonesia and those in um, Australia, it's, it's, it's almost night time for them. It's only those in Nigeria that is going to about 7 p.m. now. We want to make sure that we round up at the right time so that all can have time to be in our various churches tomorrow. Hallelujah. The next speaker yeah. is from uh, London. Our there, Pastor Julius Omotocho, who is speaking, who will be leading us to pray on thou art loose from all bounds, from all bounds, whatever may be the chain binding each and every one of us together. That chain will be loose 
even as this servant of God leads us this, this afternoon or this evening or this morning, wherever we are, in the name of Jesus Christ. And of course, immediately after that, we will be having one more facilitator before we receive the blessing from the Moses of our time, who is the person of my pastor of uh, almost 50 years, Reverend Dr. Gabriel Olusoji Farumbi, all the way from Chicago. Is the one to pronounce the blessings on us as he did last year. And uh, you and I will be alive, uh, even to witness more and more of our Mount Jerusalem program in Jesus' name. Pastor Julius, I want to touch you all the way from London. Can you please take over? Praise the Lord. Can Hallelujah. someone hear me? Praise the Lord. We are all hearing you. Uh, you tell I you want to say thank, thank you so much for this honor, this privilege to uh, minister on this platform. Uh, I'm not taking it lightly. I want to appreciate you, all my daddies and mommies and brothers and sisters on this platform. God bless you in Jesus' name. Um, the team for this ninth month Gerizim annual prayer conferences seamless victory and I just want to take my time to read before I go to my topic the um, text is taken from Psalm 44 verse 3 and it says for they did not gain possession of the land by their own thought nor did their own harm save them but it was your right hand, your harm, and light of your countenance, because you favored them. God brought victory to the children of Israel by his own accord at this time. And we are looking at it not by their own power, not by their own effort. It's just through the favor of God. It is our time now. By extension, the topic for today given to me is Thou art loosed from all bounds. This, um, the text for this is taken from the book of Isaiah chapter 58 um, from verse 6. It reads, Is this not the fast that I have chosen to loose the bonds of wickedness? to undo the heavy body, to let the oppressed go, and that you break every yoke. I can see here from the topic that it is something that has been done already. It's a victory that has been won already. Thou art loosed from all bounds. Amen. I'm not sure whatever is your bound today. I'm not sure whatever is your trouble today, your pain, your sorrow today, but I want to tell you that there are some people that have passed through similar situations, and we have evidence that they were delivered. They were loose from all their bondages. I am saying this evening that you also will receive um, victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have been coming, been coming to Mount Gerasim for maybe the past eight years, trusting God that the Lord will do it for you. And yet, the Lord, Lord has not done it. But for the fact that it, God has done it in the Bible in the past, there are people that have experienced the power of God through the favor of God. You also, you will experience the favor of God and you will receive your own victory today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our first Bible prayer, the Bible passage that we are going to use to pray is in Exodus chapter um, 1, verse 14. The Bible says, and they made their lives bitter with hard bondage in mortar and in brick and in all manner of service in the field, all their service, we are in they made them serve with rigor. I'm not sure maybe this is your experience. I'm not sure maybe yours is similar or even surpasses this. Some people have been in this situation in the past. 
the children of Israelites were in bondage for many, many years, over 400 years, about four generations. It looks as if no hope for them, but eventually the Bible recorded is that they were delivered. You are going to begin to pray for yourself by giving thanks to God that the Lord that has delivered these people, thank, begin to thank him that you know your deliverance is on the way. Begin to thank him because you know your, yes, your deliverance is assured. The topic says you are loose. You are loose from your bounds. Begin to Father, pray and decree to yourself Father, that as a result of this word of God, I am loose. Lord, My I am loose. loose. Whatever it is that I'm passing form through, of limitation, begin to speak with faith. Every form begin of to authority in my life, life. Begin in to the pray. life of my brothers because and God sisters has done in the past is going to do it in your life lose. Thou Father, Lord, Lord, lose. you will lose me Lord, 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 Lord. in whatever body I am in whatever form what is the body uh, I decree Lord, that you will lose me thanking you because you, you begin to lose the you the will lose you. as you have said in your word that you are going to lose and you are going to lose from you your sickness, I pray. As many body, as are sick, whatever body, body, your, your God children God are heaven, they will whatever receive is challenges, freedom. Begin to lose. They will receive healing in the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, whatever, whatever in wrong, God Jesus of heaven, Jesus my name is changed. We have prayed. Amen. Amen. Exodus chapter 2, verse 23, says something there. It says, and it came to pass in process of time, process of time, that the king of Egypt died and the children of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage and they cried and their cry came up unto God by reason of bondage. Maybe you've been coming upon this mountain and you are still trusting God. I want you to begin to thank God that yeah, your cry will get to God this evening. Your Amen. cry will get to God. Yeah. Your Amen. cry will, will you'll find a place in the heart of God this year. Your cry Amen. will find a in the heart of God this year. Whatever Amen. it is that you are passing through at this moment, at uh, this season that is not palatable unto you, maybe to you, to you, any of your loved ones, begin to pray and intercede. Begin to thank God on behalf of for that Father, situation. I that you pray. Oh, that, that God, God that that everyone that do something on that specific. one. He is going to do something on, the or the other, on something this life, in my in home, city, in my family, you are in the life of my cousins says, and friends. Lord God of in heaven, process of in time, the name of pray Jesus, that pray Lord, that Lord, I you because as you spoke, you spoke, as you spoke something in positive, terms of hope, something specific, the word, about my situation. About my family, about my my life, healing my husband, in the lives of my wife, in the lives of my children, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord, yes, I'm coming to this mountain. This is a night one, Lord. In this year, you will do something my You said, Thou art this is I pray, I pray, Lord, you in the name of Jesus. Everyone will do something no matter the age of his name. Yes, you will do something as a savior in the name of Jesus. Thank you and thank you. Bless the name of the Lord. Yes, yes. We thank you, In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Exodus chapter 6, verses 5 and 6. The Bible says, and I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel, mm. whom the Egyptians keep in bondage. And I have remembered my covenant. And what Amen. is that covenant? In verse 6, it says, Wherefore say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the body of the Egyptians, and I will read you out of their bondage, and I will mm. redeem you with a stretched out hand and with Amen. great judgment. Begin Amen. to thank the Lord because whatever Father, you are passing through, I get you out of you it for this your on this thank mountain. You for this word of your God. deliverance. Begin Lord, to thank God it in because this is the word of God. You will the do word it of God in our that own days. That Lord, Father, Lord, our groanings are not hidden from you. 
and they are born of you as your people are crying you, unto you, 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 you and they are calling from every on you of life. like groanies are not hidden from bondage of, uh, of, 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 of I pray that the every groaning of your people can receive an answer in the name of Jesus that Lord you God you will cause your voice because voice, are Lord, to be happy in every circumstance in, in, of your people. Everyone you. represented on this you line, they will hear your the their circumstances, Lord God of Lord, heaven. We hear you your voice Thank you in the name glory, of I, Jesus. They are, are they, they are growing. will not be you hidden from you. You are going to send me As you did in times of old, in the name of Jesus Christ, they are hidden. Oh, for the one that are sick, there will be total emancipation. For those that you are on that chain, on that bondage, thank you and thank you. In the, the name of the name of the Lord, you will we give deliver. you praise and glory and honor. Jesus. Jesus. You will deliver. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In thank Jesus' you. name, we are free. Amen. That's um, verse 9 of Exodus chapter 6. <coughs> says, And Moses spake so unto the children of Israel. But they hearken not unto Moses for anguish of spirit and for cruel bondage. They couldn't believe what Moses was saying when Moses delivered the word of God to them. Because they have suffered too long for four, over 400 years. Their spirit have been, they, they, they have, they, their spirit have been, you know, they, they weakened completely. I'm not sure maybe you are in such situation. I don't know. Maybe you are or in a similar situation, but I want you to believe the word of God today. I want to believe, I want you to believe the word of God today. Mm. It says that it's going to deliver you with an outstretched Amen. arm from Amen. your bondage. It's going to Amen. deliver you and truly mm. deliver the children of Israel. If he can do it for the children of Israel for 400 years bondage, he will deliver you. Please begin Amen. to thank him once again. Begin to thank him Father, once again. That he will thank tear up you, your Lord. He for your irreversible your you will uh, uh, promise. In thank you, Lord, for your word. Father, Lord, I you thank said you for your word that my covenant, and eh, Lord God of heaven, will you will deliver with a great hand. You will touch our hands. All that have altered from my mouth, for this, your none word. of it, none of it. Thank you for this, your word. Lord, I pray Therefore, we are that if your word will not fall on the head of Jesus. Lord, your, 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 your arms your are strength over unto your people. On this this day, day, this year, as they are on this line, everyone, every man, you every woman your God. on this you line, every pastor your on this line, your Lord, your, your, your right you hand you is strength towards them. In the name of Jesus, for healing, for uplifting, for promotion, for strength. Thank you, Father. Bless be the name of the Lord. We give you praise and glory. Thank you, and thank you, Lord. In Jesus' Amen. name, we are free. Amen. Exodus chapter 13, verse 3 says, And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which ye came out, of, out from Egypt, hmm. out of the house of bondage, <coughs> of hand the Lord brought you out from this place. There shall no living bread be eaten. But I want you to know that today the Lord is going to deliver someone. Amen. Today the Lord is going to deliver you. Amen. I want you to begin to pray that on this mountain you will not come in vain. On this Amen. mountain, this year, mm. you will not come mm. in. You mm. have come mm. with your body, with your head bowed. As you'll be leaving this mountain, it's going to be with deliverance. It's going Amen. to be with rejoicing. Begin to thank Amen. God for this. Begin to thank Father, God. Thank Begin you. to thank God. Thank Father, Lord, I thank you. Thank, thank you, thank you for the assurance. Thank you Lord, because this is a day of Lord. remembrance. My head this bowed down as I was coming. Lord, Lord, I pray that when I'll be leaving, Lord, 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 my head will be lifted. Lord, my head will be lifted. Oh, Lord, I my head will be difference in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. In rejoicing, I will leave this in mountain. every area of our life. In rejoicing, I will leave this mountain. When all those that are under this, bondage this, are loose, Lord, in rejoicing, I will leave this When the sick, Lord, are healed. In rejoicing, Lord, when those that are on the low level, Lord, with your mountain, in the name of Jesus. 
Father, in the name of the Lord. Thank you and thank with you, Lord. With faith in me that God has answered my prayer. So shall it be, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. When people will see you after this mountain, they will wonder, they will see something different in you. Amen. They will see something new in you. Amen. And they will start to ask you, what has come Amen. upon you? What Amen. has happened to you? Like in that Exodus 13, 14, and it shall be when thy son asketh thee in time to come, saying, what is this that thou shalt say unto him, my strength, by strength of my hand, the Lord brought us out of Egypt. By strength of hand. A time mm. is going to come. And we invite people and tell them, come to this mountain. Come to this mountain. I had my deliverance on this mountain. I had my prayers mm. answered on this mountain. You will become to witness. You will become to evangelize. Begin to thank God that when that time will come, you will remember your God. You will mm. remember the God that delivered you. You will mm. not forget the God that delivered you. By mm. strength, not by your own strength. Begin to Amen. appreciate God that Father, when that time will come, when the, the deliverance will, will have been performed in your life, you will Thank remember you. this mountain. Thank you you will remember your Thank God in the name of Jesus. You, you will remember the God that has done this for you. You will remember him. I will remember you, God of heaven, that you have done this for me. All the greatest you have done, all the answers you have answered on, on this mountain, I will remember. I will bring all the glory unto you. I will not share it with any man in the yes. name of Jesus. Yes, it shall be you in my life, Lord. Only you, only you, only you in the name of Jesus. Yes, it shall be only you in the name of Jesus. Yes, it shall be only you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Man. We are going to begin to pray. We have come this year. Next year, we are going to be here. But I want you to begin to speak forth into your days, into your weeks, into your months ahead of you. That that is This is what I want you, God, to do in the process of time before next year. This is what I want you to accomplish in my life. Amen. Begin to Amen. speak forth. Begin to speak forth. Begin to speak for what you want your week to be, your days, what you want it to be, what you want the, the months to be before next year. Begin to speak for, begin to speak for, begin to speak. Our uh, doctor has prayed concerning organ failure. Begin to pray and decree. I will not, I will, I will not receive organ failure. I will not receive any bad news. I will begin to receive candles. I will begin to receive good news from afar off and from within. I will, well, thank you. All the months, all the all the days, all the weeks shall be a day of joy for me. As from today, in the name of Jesus, up to next year when we shall be coming again for the tenth month, garrison. Begin to pray for yourself. You will not experience economic failure. You will not express money failure. You will not express career failure. You will not express marriage failure. You will not express business failure. Begin to decree to your years. Begin to, de begin to decree. Begin to decree. I decree to my days. I decree to my weeks. I decree to my months. It shall be economic buoyancy. It shall be money will be flowing in into my life. My career will be flourishing. My marriage will be flourishing. My business will be prospering. Begin to decree. The, the, the ministry God has committed into my hands will be flourishing in the name of begin to decree begin to decree what you want God to do from now on till next year when we shall be coming for another program in the name of Jesus begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray father lord i pray that lord these weeks days and months ahead shall be my day, months and days of joy of blessings of breakthroughs of great and great news of rejoicing of God's power manifesting in my life, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Okay. Begin to pray, begin okay. to pray, begin to pray for yourself. Begin to pray, begin to pray. As I be up, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Mm. Father, Lord, I pray that, Lord, by the process of time, when I'll come next year, I'll come and give glory. I'll come and give mm. thanks of what the mm. Lord has done for me, of mm. great and mighty things he has done, that, that my faith has been lifted up, that my faith 
has been, has been, have gone to another level in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray for yourself, begin to pray for yourself, begin to pray, begin to decree for yourself things that you want God to do from now till the end of next year when we'll be coming back to this mountain again. Yes, we thank you, Lord. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise because you know you answer our prayers much more than what we have asked for. We know you are going to do for us. We know you have done because we ask in faith. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Our Father, King of Glory, we want to thank you for this wonderful time we've had in your thank presence. You. We appreciate you because you are here before we are here. We want to thank you for all the prayers that you have prayed thus far on this mountain. We know that testimonies is going to abound concerning all these prayers. Amen. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Lord, Amen. as you have decreed Hallelujah. concerning every people that is bound as they are coming to this mountain, as they will be going back, they will go with their head lifted up in the name of Jesus. They will Amen. go with joy in their heart in the Amen. name of Jesus. They will go with conviction in their heart that the Lord has answered their prayers in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that by the process of time, when we shall be coming next year, we will have resounding testimony of God doing in our lives in the name of Jesus. Concerning our health, it shall be testimonies. Concerning our, our, our financial situation, it shall be testimony. Concerning mm -hmm. our career and marriages, concerning businesses, concerning the ministry God has committed into our hands, it shall be testimony in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we give you honor because we know you have answered our prayers. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Just before we move to the last uh, facilitator, before our Father and the Lord comes in to invoke blessings upon my life, upon your life. There are some prayer requests that people have just sent to me, and I want us to pray Amen. on those prayer requests. And it's just, just one, I would say. There are so many of them. And the prayer request is as many who are on this line with terminal diseases. Mm. With terminal diseases, they are loose, they are surgery in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to raise up our voices unto the Lord and cry as many on us as on this line with terminal diseases, battling with terminal diseases. You know, we must pray concerning our organs. We are praying as many as on this line with terminal diseases. They are set free. are loose. They are given to God this to the Lord to do the cause of the presence of the power of God in this place. We command to God in the name of Jesus Christ that they are loose. They are loose in the name of Jesus. God let them not be the balm of the earth. They will be released upon them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. That we could be in the mighty name we decree they are healed. They are holy. We decree they are healed. They are holy in the name of Jesus. We are taking the last uh, prayer from uh, the prayer facilitator, and it's just going to be for 10 minutes so that uh, we uh, have uh, the blessing mm. from the servant of God. Mm. Like I said, there are some joining all the way from Indonesia, from uh, from Australia, and it's late night now there in some of these countries, and in Japan, late, late night, and we want them to go to bed early. Therefore, uh, our brother, our pastor, Reverend Alex Oparide, will be praying on freedom from economic strangulation. Freedom from economic strangulation. Pastor mm -hmm. Alex Oparide for 10 minutes. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Once again, we are all welcome for this program, and we bless the Lord for how he has blessed us since we have started. Uh, when we talk of economic strangulation, we are talking of economic siege. 
as experienced by the children of Israel in Samaria in the book of Second Kings in chapter six and seven. So economic strangulation can come in diverse ways, and when it comes, it's out to destroy. It <clears throat> makes somebody that labor as if they are not doing anything. It makes people walk with like elephant and eat like ants. I want us to look briefly into our scripture today. We are going to take in a prayer from Deuteronomy in chapter 8 in verse 18. Deuteronomy 8 in verse 18, I read. He said, but thou shall remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee the power to get wet, that he may establish his covenant, which is swear unto thy father as it is this day. I want us to go before the Lord tonight. Let's begin to thank him for that which the Lord has done that has given us this privilege, the privilege to get this power to get wealth. We are qualified by it because it's a covenant. It's a covenant that the Lord has promised us as children of God, as children of Abraham. Let's lift up, let's just bless him for that covenant that come with our salvation. Father, Lord, you are promising your word. You said with joy, we withdraw water out of the well of salvation. One of the things that we draw out of this well of salvation is this power to get wealth. Lord, as we cry unto you, Lord, today, as we look unto you, Lord, today, we pray there, Father, that, Lord, that this power will not just be that we know about it. We want to see the manifestation as you have done it in the, screen, in the, in the days of old among the children, of, uh, among the servants and saints of God. Father, Lord, we pray that we will, be mani we, we will manifest this blessing in our life. We will not just hear about it, that on this month, Gerizim, this blessing begin to be fulfilled in our life. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I want us to cry to the Lord this evening. Let's talk to the Lord. Let's add that the Lord will decorate your life. He will decorate my life with this power to be effective. That whatsoever we lay our hands on indeed, as we live in obedience, whatsoever we lay our hands on indeed, we be blessed with this power to get wet. It will turn to gold, that the Lord will cause it to blossom. Let us pray to the Lord. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you for this ability you've given unto us. We pray that this power, Lord, we pray you will decorate our life with this power to get wealth. That in every area of our life, in all our endeavors, those in businesses, those that have uh, 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 the careers, in whatsoever we do, whatsoever be the source of our economy. Father, we pray, oh God, Lord, we are liberated to get wealth that we are not restricted by situation around us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that we'll be able indeed to flourish. Your word say the righteous shall flourish like palm tree. Father, that shall be our portion because we are planted in your vineyard. We must flourish. Lord, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will cause every work of our hand to flourish in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 The scripture tells us in the book of Proverbs, in chapter 10, verse 22, that the blessings of the Lord is the one that can make us rich without adding sorrow. Satan mm. does not give any free gift. If he gives you A, he's going to take B to Z from you. If you give you Z, he's going to know that a to, A to the next line, everything is gone. So we are going to cry to the Lord because we are depending on him. Our trust is in him. That Lord Almighty, that blessing that does not add sorrow, that blessing that causes us to flourish, that, 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 that blessing that, God, that allow us to have the blessings of the Lord at Christ's expense. The Lord already paid for them. He said, I wish above all things that you prosper 
and being here, even as our soul prosper. Let us cry yes. to the Lord that indeed yes. that blessing that does not add sorrow, sorrow over children, sorrow over home, sorrow over our head, that the Lord will use it to decorate our life. Anything that is throwing sorrow, anything that is a mark of sorrow, that they be removed today by the blood of the Lamb. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Father and our God, we cry unto you, O Lord. The scripture says it is your blessing that make it rich without adding sorrow. That is the kind of blessing that you give. That is the blessed kind of blessing that we don't have all the weight of the world and spend it on a sick bed. We don't have all the blessings that, that comes with, with, from you and then spend it on things that are untoward. Father, we cry unto you. Any mark of sorrow in any life that people are asking, Lord, I did not steal it. I did not do this. Why is this so difficult? Why is there so much pain? Why are my children going through this? Anything that we represent sorrow in any life, Father, let it be removed tonight by the blood of the Lamb. We pray, dear Lord, that the hand of the Lord will reach out unto us as you decorate our life with this power, as you decorate our life, we did cause our life to flourish indeed. Father, we pray, let there be an enlargement. Let there be enlargement, just as you did in the life of Jabez. The Bible says he became more honorable than all of his brethren. That Lord, that we will not struggle. Many of us on this line, we are, we are out of many, many have linked or source or came from Nigeria. And many are in different parts of the world. And we can tell what people go through before they are established. We pray, Lord, you will establish us. You will Amen. set to your people, wherever you have planted us, that you will cause us to flourish. And as you cause Amen. us to flourish, Lord Almighty, anything that is called mark of sorrow shall not be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Also, in Deuteronomy chapter 28, in verse 12, the Lord made a promise there. And the Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the world of thine hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. That is the promise of the Lord to bless the work of our hand. I want us to stretch our hands to the Lord, begin to prophesy on that hand. Lord, this is the promise you have made. Whether you are in business, whether it's ministry full-time, whether in whatever you do, whatsoever that you do, when that woman came to the prophet Elisha and told, her every, told him everything that she has been through, he said, what do you have in your house? So, beloved, yes. let's lift our hands to the Lord. What have you brought to the Lord to bless? What have you brought to the Lord? Is it your, whatever that source is today, begin to present it to the Lord. Father, we stretch our hands unto you, O Lord. You say you will cause your blessing to fall upon us. That, Lord, the rain will come in its due season. That you will bless every work of our hand. We cry unto you this evening. As many, O God, as we stretch in our hands unto you, let the mercy of God begin to fall therein. Whatsoever we are using our hand to do that constitute causes of our economic blessing. Father, Lord, we pray, let it be matched with abundance. Let it be matched with abundance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you have promised, O oh God, Father, as many that have remained stagnant, that say they have all this education, but they can't move forward. As many that as if they struggle, for, they struggle forward, it's one step forward, two step backward. Right from today, Lord, let there be a divine turnaround. Let there be a divine turnaround that the victory will be seamless in every area. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Beloved, let's talk to the Lord. Every driver of economic strangulation in your life, in my life, anything that is a driver of economic strangulation, pray that the Lord will remove it in Jesus' name as we round up in Jesus' mighty name. 
our Father and our God, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every driver of economic strangulation in our life. Father, Lord, we pray that you remove it today. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 We want to thank God for all our facilitators. They are good. They are good. Times. It's exactly 2 p.m. here where I live. And uh, I want to thank God because of some of our brethren who are around 2, around 2 a.m. Or even some 3 a.m. Where they are. Those in Indonesia, those in, uh, in um, Australia. We want them to uh, want to live on time. And so we want to thank God. We want to thank you for coming. It's time for us to receive the Papa blessing from uh, no other person than uh, our Father and the Lord. Those of us who know who this man of God, you will know that he is a prophet of our days, of our time. And I want to thank God for the grace of God in his life. And he's no other person than uh, uh, their father, Reverend Gabriel Olusoji Farumbi, all the way from uh, California, from uh, 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 Chicago. It's about 1 p.m. where he is now. So, Daddy Farumbi, we want to call upon you, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? We are hearing you loud and clear. Hallelujah. Before we Amen. just thank God, because miracles are already wrought. Amen. There is somebody on the line who hmm. has come with something, and uh, whether it will be done or not. But I want to assure you, God say all the prayers offered by the people of God are answered. And Amen. by the time you come here next year, you will come with testimony. Amen. Amen. There's two women on the line. They are like Hannah. So next year you are coming with your Samuel. Amen. I say next year you are coming with your Samuel. Amen. I want us to please rise up. If you are not driving, you are not in a position where you cannot rise up. Or maybe I want us to do to, 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 to tell God, we believe. We believe. So what I want you to do, whether you are sitting down, whether you are standing up, to lift up your right hand, the two hands to receive from the Lord. Your two hands, not only one, unless you only have one hand. Your two hands to receive from the Lord whom you have been praying unto for the past two hours. It's a sign that we believe. We believe. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, I just want to thank you. I've seen one of the Amen. sisters who has obeyed me. I've seen another brother lifting up their two hands because you have answered our prayer. Yes, and I just say thank you and thank you. Thank you As I begin to pronounce the blessing, Amen. the blessing will come true. Amen. Amen. The blessing will fall on the head of your people. Amen. Amen. They will enjoy the blessing. Amen. Amen. My brother, my sister, by the word of God, the Lord whom you are serving day and night will surely bless you in the city where you are. Amen. Amen. The Lord will bless you in Atlanta. Amen. Amen. The Lord will bless you in London. Amen. Amen. The Lord will bless you in Chicago. Amen. Amen. The Lord will bless the country where you are coming, calling from him today. Amen. The Lord will surely bless the fruit of your body. Amen. Amen. By that I mean your own children. Amen. Grandchildren. Amen. Great grandchildren in the name of Amen. 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 The Lord shall bless you wherever you are come. You go out or you come. Not that when you travel out of the country, the Lord will bless you when you go out. 
The Lord will bless you when you come in. In the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord will cause your enemies, spiritual, financial, wherever they are, to fall before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I say the Lord will cause your enemy to fall before you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord will grant you the desires of your heart. Amen. The Lord will increase you on every area of your life. Amen. Remember Psalm 115 verse 14 says, and the Lord shall increase you more and more, you and your children. So it will be in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord will open to you the gate of pleasure. Amen. The Lord will also open to you his own good treasure. Amen. In the treasure of God, all the good things you, you need, the Lord will open the door of that treasure unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. From this day forward, the 16th, the 15th day of the month of October, you will no longer borrow. Amen. I say you will no longer borrow. Amen. Uh, instead of borrowing, you will lend on to nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord shall make you great wherever you are. Amen. Amen. You shall be great. Amen. And the Lord will also bless the fruit of your womb. Amen. Amen. I am asking the Lord will grant you the gift of long life. Amen. Long life. Amen. In the book of Job chapter 5, verse 26, say, none of you shall go to the grave when you are young. You won't go to the grave when you are young. Amen. Amen. We go to your grave when you are old and old Amen. and old in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Lord shall grant you good health, Amen. sound mind, Amen. sound physique. Amen. You will not bend low. Amen. You will walk straight. Amen. Amen. And all that the Lord has blessed you with, you will enjoy. Amen. Amen. From this day forward, you will enjoy your marriage. Amen. Amen. You will enjoy your children. Amen. You will enjoy your husband. Amen. You will enjoy your wife. Amen. With all that the Lord has done with doing this prayer, the Lord has finally we make it to become a blessing. Amen. Amen. You know, that's the most important thing. Yes, Lord. When the Lord bless Abraham, yes, say you'll be yes, great, great, you'll be this, you'll be that, yes, you'll be that, but you'll be a blessing. From this Amen. day forward, I pronounce you'll be a blessing. Amen. Amen. A blessing to the body of Jesus Christ universally. Amen. Amen. A blessing to the church where the Lord has made you to be overseer. Amen. Amen. A blessing to whoever comes in contact with you. Amen. And the Lord will make himself as friends around you. Amen. Amen. Because the Lord has made himself to be friends around you, no evil will be for you. Amen. No play will know where you live. Amen. Amen. Every day you'll be bouncing in good health. Amen. <laughs> bouncing in good health. Bouncing Amen. in good health. Amen. This be your portion. Amen. Amen. And forevermore. Everybody say. Amen. Amen. Over to you, our dear Reverend Dr. Please. Over to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. thank you. We want to thank God for this year's edition of uh, Mount Jerusalem. And it is my prayer that the Lord, like the servant of God has prayed, the Lord will pres preserve your life and my life to witness more, of, more editions of this program 
in year 2023 and beyond in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We want Amen. to thank all the participants. We also want to thank all the officiating ministers. <laughs> I was talking to the, to the man of God this morning. I said, you are invited. He says, as a participant. I said, not just participant. Uh, you are officiating. He said, yeah, okay. As a participant and uh, officiating minister. All our officiating ministers, the Lord will continue to prosper you. The Bible says, the people so shall be made fat. He Amen. that waters others shall be watered. The Amen. Lord God of heaven will cause your life to flourish in Jesus' name. Amen. I also want to thank some of our uh, first square national leaders that are on the line. And the, uh, the former national leader of Nigeria, Foursquare, the present uh, national leader of Nigeria, Foursquare, and some of my leaders here in the district, uh, uh, we welcome you. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we share together Psalm 23, verse 6? Surely. All the days of my life, I've the presence of the Lord. Forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Those of you in Indonesia, good morning. Those of you in Australia, good morning. God bless you. Well done, sir. God bless you. Well done. God bless you more and more. Amen. Thank you. Ah, all the way from uh, Mr. Okuni, uh, good evening, uh, sir. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you so much. 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 Oh, I'm being on the camera key. God bless all of you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Peace out. Okay. Thank you, Daddy, Daddy and Mommy. God bless you. God bless you. Everybody. God bless you. The Lord bless you all. The Lord bless you all. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you next year in Jesus' name. No one will be missing. Doctor Asolo, Ekale. Ekale, ma, God bless you. Yes, sir. Ekale, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sister Jumulo, oh, thank you very much. 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 you very much. Thank 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 you very much. you Thank you Thank you Thank you Thank you Thank you Thank you <laughs> you sent it to my oh my uh, god what's up oh my god <laughs> the lord bless you the lord bless you, you. you and keep the children and grandchildren in jesus amen name. amen uh, I, I i will call you tomorrow by god's grace amen 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 Good morning, Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. in Indonesia. Good morning there. God bless all of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.